Diamond here. Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to add custom images to your ranks. If you need an example of how that looks like, it's right above my head and it's pretty easy to do. If you watch towards the end of the video, I will explain how to download the example pack that will be shown in video, but this is gonna be completely free and you'll need to download two plugins that one of them you probably more than likely already have installed. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing with a server. You will definitely need, of course, Luckperms. Luckperms is an essential permission-based plugin. My majority of the servers already have it. It's reliable, it's fast, and easy to use. I'm gonna show you the basics. This isn't going to be a Luckperms dedicated video, but I'll put out an updated one later down the line. And you need a secondary plugin called LPC Chat Formatter. This allows to add additional features to Luckperms and what's going to enable prefixes to be shown properly within our chat. You can use other chat plugins as well. So if you do have a chat plugin that supports prefixes, it'll be great as you won't need this. But for this example, I'm doing everything completely free and easy to use and grab. All of these links will be in the description down below. And also while you're in the description, why don't you check out Revive Node? With reliable servers and easy to use control panel, you can put these plugins in and start your very own Minecraft server today. For only a dollar per gigabyte, using the promo code DIAMOND in all caps, you can get 15% off with your very first purchase. I use them, I trust them, and I recommend them. So if you want to check it out, it's going to be in the description down below. But let's get back into the video. Once you have all of these downloaded and uploaded to your server, you can start it up. We're not going to have to do too much configuring. What we're going to do is go into the resource pack. Again, I will be providing a example pack for this one i'm just calling it test pack i can just go ahead and open that up here we're going into assets and for the sake of the tutorial i'll make the screen a bit bigger now the difference is here we're going to have two different folders we're going to be having the default minecraft folder and this is our secondary folder where we're going to put all of our textures in it but let's start off in minecraft in the folder you're going to find a font folder opening that up you're going to have a default.json and opening that up will get us here i already have some examples so if i go into minecraft already and then just type hello you can see that I already have the administrative role image already associated with that. And I'll explain how that works. First, it's looking what type of file it is. This is gonna be just a bitmap. Then it needs to understand where the file is located. In this case, it's going to be in the server folder. So if we go back into assets, you can see here's our server folder. Then it's going to be looking for ranks. So in the textures folder, we don't have to declare textures because that's where it's going to look for any texture based file. And within the texture folders, we're gonna find ranks. And in here, we have all our, our rank icons. And in this case, I do have one for admin and VIP, but let's say we wanna add more. All we need to do is just copy one line. We can just paste it underneath and then I'll replace admin, for example, with mod. And then I can add one more, which I will do with VIP. I can go ahead and copy a line again, put it underneath and I will place mod in this case with MVP. Whenever you are adding a line, ensure that you do have a comma right at the end, but you never have to add it at the final line. Last thing is we need to give these guys some custom characteristics. For example, I'm just using an emoji here as it's going to be replacing that emoji with the texture. You can use Unicodes, I believe. Of course, this is all for tutorial purposes and I'm lazy and I didn't want to do it, but I recommend you do it. All I'm going to be doing is just copying a emoji. You can just go into any get emoji website and copy it like so. Make sure you never use the same one twice or else it could cause conflicts. I'll copy one more and then I'll just paste it. I'm also using emojis that aren't really common for people to paste in Minecraft. But after we have that, I can go ahead and click save. And that's all we need to do in here. Other than, of course, adding the textures into the actual folder and always make sure that they're named properly or else you may get some errors. After we have that all done and set up, we can just go ahead and close this. I'll leave this open just for more example purposes. And then I will do F3 plus T while holding both keys, of course. And now we'll reload our texture pack. I still have that admin role, so it's working great. Now what we will do is slash LP editor, and then we can click enter. That will create us a session. I will open up that link. And now I can go ahead and check my role. So right here I have group admin and I have default VIP and an admin on top. What I will do is I'll replace mine with VIP and then click apply. That should apply to changes. Sometimes it will ask you to set up a link to automatically have the server and the website communicate with each other. But now if I type in chat, hello, you can see I have my VIP role right there. It works great as I intended. Now let's say we are trying to enable the mod or MVP. What we will do is slash slash LP editor, click enter, and then I'll start us the session. What we will do for that is first create the group. So LP creates group. This one we're gonna call MVP. And then I'll create another one called mod. Let's open up a session since I did create more groups. And in here we have mod, MVP, VIP, and admin. Let's go ahead into MVP. All we need to do in here is add prefix dot zero dot 
And then we need to copy that emoji. So for MVP, we have this squiggly line. Type it in the squiggly line and then click enter. And then we can go ahead and click add. And now we have the prefix. We'll go ahead and also do that for moderator. And for that, we need to do is add the squiggly line as well. But let's say you added it for example, you, you can still edit it by just clicking on it again. I do need to add the correct emoji, of course. So I will copy that straight into the file. And then I can click apply. Going back onto server, all my modifications were applied. Now going back into the server, all I need to do is go into my user. Now to finish everything off, I'm gonna go into my user and then I'll switch myself over to mod. Then I'll click apply and then I can go ahead and type hello in chat and I have my mod role that easily. As you can see, it's not that difficult at all to set up and create your very own custom roles for your Minecraft server. Of course, if you wanna download it, all you need to do is go into revive node, scroll all the way to the bottom and go ahead and click on contents there you'll find every resource that I've ever made. But the most important one, of course, in this case would be the ranks. And while you're there, of course, make sure to grab a server. But other than that, but other than that, hope this video was informative and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Other than that, I have more coming out. So make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Other than that, I'm Diamond. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Cheers.